what is today again? Or right, April 25th, 2024. And we're doing Fort Canaveral again. That's two days in a row. My video should be posted as of right now, but I stayed up late trying to post it and edit it and all that kind of stuff. One thing that, uh, I mean, if you make videos and stuff like that, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. For those of you that don't, um, to get fishing content, it's it can be a doozy because a lot of times you want to catch that bite, you want to you want to catch the hit, you want to catch the strike, and all that. So you re, you're, you're doing a lot of recording. So I end up deleting like 80% of stuff I record. That and you know my videos, I get on rants and raves, so I end up delete. Surprisingly, I still delete 80% of it. But um, no, uh, we had such a blast yesterday meeting up with. Um, two subscribers which I now will just call two friends from Georgia um, super great people super nice people kind of gives me some motivation for goals for me me and my wife me and Aaron um, that's kind of what we want to get to where we can travel or go places and then they got that in, in little inflatable craft that they literally pull out the back of their truck inflate attach the little motor and they could go fishing and hang out on the water and do all that kind of stuff and that's our goals you know I'm working on my channel and all that kind of stuff but one of these days me and uh, me and the wife will will start doing adventures together you know she likes to fish too as long as I bait her hooks but uh, anyway so we're gonna get out to Port Canaveral for a second day in a row we'll try things a little bit different today I didn't forget my wallet so I will stop at the bait shop get some fresh bait but I don't know, I've just got this feeling, I mean, I think that I could probably do well if I work a, a paddle tail on some of the deep holes there, but all last night, all I could kept thinking about is if I throw some of that, that big, fresh cut ladyfish in some of those holes, that for sure, you know, at least some of those redfish are gonna, are gonna wanna try and get it. So I'm not sure, you know how it is, everything you plan, usually ends up changing by the time you get there so we'll see how things are when we get there we'll see what the mood is we'll see what the what's up with the bite but um, yeah so and uh, as always I'll do any of my rants and raves or updates or any of that fun stuff towards the end of the video so let's go get there let's go meet up with uh, my friends and let's uh, see what we can get into today. All right, everybody, stay tuned. See you on the water. All right. It's definitely when it's colder, that's when my my, uh, my rudder line is looser and then it gets to where I want it. So I'm worried that if I tighten it when it's cold, then when it warms up, it's gonna be too tight to turn. So I might talk to the guys at the kayak shop. Maybe there's a cord or a rope that's, that stretches less with the um, temperature. Cause you get some pretty crazy temperature swings here. You know, you'll wake up and it's like mid fifties, sometimes low fifties. And then, you know, six hours later, you're hitting 80. So, all right. Wow, beautiful day. As always, beautiful. Let's go find our friends, see what we can get into. Alrighty, stay tuned. Now look, no hands, we're going straight. It kind of, oops, that was me. Uh, it kind of, you see it stays put. That's what you want. You don't want it this hard. I probably shouldn't talk right now, the bridge is loud.
that's how you beat the skunk. Pretty little guy. I'd like it a little bit bigger. See if there's another one in there. They're slowly getting bigger. <laughs> slowly but surely. All right, chill, 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 chill. You wanna see another day, let's chill. Lots of little guys today. Thanks, buddy. Go tell your brother. You tell your big brother to come over here. I'm hungry. I'm hungry for some sheep's head. This guy's gonna hit the rocks anyway. and a half. Nice little pretty triple tail.
What a beautiful day. Fishing was slow, at least inside the port. I don't know how it was outside near the jetty. It was slow, but uh, yeah, my friend's got a big old pompano and I got my first triple tail. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure they gotta be 18 to keep. So mine, like I thought, was short. But hey, I get to mark that off my, uh, my list of species. That was really cool. I've always seen guys fishing. Usually they're hanging out underneath uh, like buoys or floating debris. And a lot of times people catch them on shrimp. But surprisingly, I caught it on cut ladyfish. So that's a win. Beautiful day. And like I said, I didn't really chase after the fish as much as like I said I was the other day with artificials. I kind of did more bait fishing thing today. Just You can't be when it's nice out like this, just hanging out, getting the breeze. So, yeah, all in all, great day. Had a blast. Appreciate everybody for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Tight lines, everybody. Peace.